Hi there Zipier with the second day of LGS highlights. No reaction today. I will just let you enjoy the video. So yeah, enjoy and I will see you in the next one. See you. Right behind you right now. Alliance clear up shop. Onik get eliminated. Alliance is the kill leader with nine. They're not done yet. TSM Fnatic, or sorry, FC in a fight. That's a 3v3. And Alliance can come in and clean up. Can TSM get the shield swaps? No, reps did not get it. Finally does. It's a 3v3 between Alliance and TSM. Carly TSM, Verhulst needs to get the reset though. They're out of health disadvantage. Here comes Hal, coming through. Imperial Hal mounts, he's in a 1v2. What can he do? It's a 1v1, it's a 1v1. Oh, what is he gonna do? He needs to finish up, he wants to get the KP, he wants to get the shields up real quick. He gets the shields up, and the 1v1, he takes a little bit of damage. He's playing off the fence line. He's got that natural cover, and he's looking to engage. Hal versus Yuki, it all comes down to this. For three KP and three more placement points. It's the CEO versus the model. Yuki's an absolute monster, but Hal's better. He's gonna fry, doesn't take any damage. Hal is perfect, but Yuki turns it around. No Can way. Hal finish the shots? No. Yuki playing the knockdown, and Hal's gonna melt him again. Oh, he's boost by oh. him. He punches him, punches him away. He gets the extra space. He punches oh. him again. Don't get out. You just need the fist. He's playing with his food, Vicky. He's playing with his food. He's won. But he's one HP. No, no. Oh. He's out of the ammo. Was he out of the ammo? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Yuki clutches up against Hal in a 1v1. How did he do that? What did we just see? Alright, I got a question for people in the crowd. You guys wanna see that 1v1 again? Y'all wanna see that again? Let's watch it from Yuki's perspective right now. We have the tapes, we actually get to see what was going on in the mind, in the vision of the man on Alliance who clutched up for the squad. Not only huge for them to win, Dan, of course, the points that they're looking to get, guaranteeing a spot in winners, but just the skill, the tracing to get to this point in the in the 1v1. And honestly, you can only imagine what's going through your mind when you're in a 1v1 like this. So much pressure on an individual. Oh, wait, mate. Yuki killed three. Yuki yeah, he did it all. Yeah, two. He did it all. Yuki taking an amazing off angle there, clicking up the damage being done by his teammates. But, I mean, we've got to watch this almost in silence, wow. we, to appreciate it, to respect it. Wow. Not only that, he only had the one weapon as well, by the way. So they were both down to their last Skerrix of utility. I'll tell you what, though. Looking at this, I, I don't see a moment where Yuki feels out of control. He feels like he is just waiting. And this is where maybe things start to catch him off guard a little bit. He loses his health. And he goes, oh no, but then that's where the punch maybe starts to look. He's only oh. got five bullets himself. He's he only off. had six bullets. He uses the Valkyrie missile swarm there, and I cannot believe it. Is this the <laughs> difference? Six bullets. I, mean, he went, I gotta give six. respect to Hal as well. Hal went out of swinging in that fight, but we almost. What? What? Okay, Alliance Flora. Launch site. There is exactly what they have up their sleeves. Meanwhile, TSM in an early 1v1. Reps goes down. Hal's gonna neutralize with the Mozambique. This is huge. It wasn't the 50-50 we were expecting out here, but with reps going down, it's a trade force trade as Stilitsi is going to be the first one to go down here for kick gear too. You see Hal just trying to take it off order. All Ooh. he needs is the beacon of dream. Yeah, great shots from Hal. Verhul's going to follow through. Can he get the knock? No. Shield's broken on Maggie. It's a team of two. The duo, the controller oh. boys, it's the oh. melee off, and oh. Hal's going to go down. Verhul's left in 1v2. He finds himself a heavy. Can he connect in the 1v for the dub? Oh, he just gone. For oh. Bussy. <laughs> Dream swinging the axe. Look at Fnatic. Oh, they're taking a different off angles, and as he drops down, Matsutash joining the rest of his teammates. NRG out of the free, not getting involved, but they're focused on both teams at the same time. No Crypto Drone, no EMP, which means that they have the green light to unleash a zero without it getting interrupted. And I love how Fnatic is playing this, taking up so much space, but no, Matsutash with a misplay, he's gonna go knock. Because Shira gets the Elim. Ascent is taking matters into their own hands, but guess what? NRG's still alive. And there's still a watcher dead off to their left, playing off the cover of the knockdown shield. It's Ascend. They have the number of bases. Lupa with the quick shield swap. They find the damage with the wingman. Fnatic get eliminated, go down in third, and now it's NRG versus Ascend. But NRG swings on in like Tarzan. Gilderson gets knocked. Nathan fries. It's a 1v1. Nathan, the young king, versus post kill, the Portuguese no way. sensation. No way. No oh way. My God. The ones in fence. Post kill is a man that no. Nathan wins it! Nathan wins it! And Sweet celebrates! Oh, here we go, baby. We're gonna have Lufka getting some kills. Great shot by the kid. And it's gonna be a 3v3 now. Onik versus Ascend. If Ascend wins this, there is a chance that they actually take first place for A versus C. Yeah, Ascend doing a phenomenal job this game. 
they're, they just have to wait a couple of seconds for the height to not be in, and then that's going to force that team to jump down. I think this is going to be an Ascend W wig. Let's go, Lufka! Let's go, Lufka! All right, here it is. The final moment's now closing. A great 70 spray, bro. Lufka's a phenomenal player. Oh, my God. The damage from Lufka he has five coming bullets in left hot. Though. And he gets the knock, knock with the missile swarm onto Fussy. And he gets another knock, and Ascend takes the W! Ascend. Not enough space. We'll have to see if they can get themselves back into the fight from there. But TSM continuing their domination down below. It's just dishing out so much damage. I mean, I heard the crowd through my headset chanting TSM, and they are going off big E. Swing it on this Newcastle. No, you cannot rest. Get out of here, Gomberay. Oh, the crowd is happy about that one as TSM yet again coming out on top in another engagement. They are looking fantastic in this final Storm Point match right now as they set up shop and give themselves the time to go for that Velcro team. But the team on the roof, it's KCP who anticipates that is able to them on that rotation entirely. You have no idea how many FURIA fights I have seen with TSM in the Pro League, and it was Panders that started all of that off. Let them cook, but now the third party comes. Versus DZ in the final 3v3, two squads of six alive. Yep, LG getting the reds off there while the other two teams are fighting. The Ciro goes down from Yaguares, and they're gonna look to hit a left wide swing here. Yeah, and I'm rooting for LG right now, man. No bias He's, at did all. Did he stick him? He did indeed stick him, it looks like. He got oh, the big, big time crack, oh and a 152. That's where it's going, nuclear. Can he get the squad wipe? And he does Luminosity not. with a much needed win. Just here, living my life, managing to reset with the medkit. You know the hockey's heard that hockey's trying to take some shots, but if hockey shoots at our team, he puts himself in the line of sight of Satuki, who also wants a piece of the pie on that last member of Singularity. North Epson, full squad up alive versus... Uh, <laughs> they finally take him out versus Alliance, the other three-man squad currently. Unfortunately for Space Station, they couldn't get around the rock. They were still alive, but... You guys did not just miss it. They were unfortunately unable to get into that next circle. So the last two squads are left. Northception versus Alliance. North Epson needs this 54 points tying TSM. The lead will be decided here. They need to win this fight against Alliance to take the series. And there you go. Mandy hits the grab lift looking for an LOS onto North Epson. Well, Gracie says, I can do it too, and goes up. Oh. oh. But Tida has no. fallen. Satuki taking some damage. The Seer exhibit out. Oh. That was huge! What a gravity lift to get behind him on the flank! Gets the hit fire shot, and he beats the next player! Two as they drop, North Epson looking to make the comeback, looking to take another step out here, and they come out being the winners of game number six! No. And man, I've been here before, bro, and I want to punch my monitor. Yep, right and this, here goes NRG looking to make this push onto the duo. That's a good gen. Oh my god, they... Aipod! Oh, oh no, the PK shot coming be on! Nathan goes huge! Oh and he's 36 my god. and eliminated! Nate's still alive! Can he get the reset is the question! With the gold bag! Sirdell going down and Nathan is the clutch god right now for energy. I believe they're gonna oh get the reset too. Oh my god! No, 100 Thieves comes in and Nate's gonna be in a 1v3. Can he do it? He gets the crack on the back spawn. The jump out! The knock on he the back! Can he get the armor swap though? Going for the finish. No, he and cannot. It's not enough. A hundred thieves with. Well, if they were to win land, but suddenly if Dark Zero come back in, <laughs> or someone else comes into the equation, things change. Uh, I would like that as my wallpaper. Well, I mean, I, got, I can't compare. I mentioned during yesterday's broadcast that Dreamfire a very successful world. They get to a spot, and now they're looking to just gatekeep this team. Wait, Ross is doing the, the fucking ADS Q oh, shit. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's good on. <laughs> oh! He lived! Wow, this game is bad. I can't believe he, he actually like got out of there. He's dead, Wait, but he, like, like, wow. Super the fact that you could even get stuck in there, like, wow. I mean, bro, would it be Apex Legends yeah, without that shit, though? I feel like NA is just really, really far ahead on World's Edge that it makes it a little bit... TSM gets the most, the best treatment for being the most mid-team. Wild. Sweet just firing shots at a team that's not even in his group. <laughs> Sweet and shitting on TSM. Name a better combination. Comes in for the third party onto Vex and IG. My man, unlucky, stuck like a step, bro. I mean, step. You know what I mean? And they're going to be going down. Vex, it, it is not Gibby. Hmm? It's not Gibby. It's Jibby. I don't care.
at all. You don't care what people say. What do you say? Gibby. It's not Gibby. I don't care. Are you saying Gibraltar? Yeah, if I want to. You're not saying that, though. So if it's I want Gibby. to, I will. You're saying Gibraltar? No. So it's not Gibraltar? That's what it is. It's If G-B. I say that's what it is. It has nothing to do with anything. That was like trying you trying to be intimidating, and it didn't work at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like I told you, I could be wrong, and I'm still not admitting. Yeah, you are so stubborn, dude. I'm not even letting you convince me that there's even a thought of me being wrong.